Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another Clean With Me Challenge video and we're going to be cleaning out the closet. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you like cleaning videos. I have been cleaning a lot the last few days because we are getting ready to record or film our house tour today. You guys have been asking for this for a while now and we actually did record it once but it just wasn't good enough so we're going to be filming it again today. So if you haven't seen my challenge videos before, pretty much what it is is where I give you guys a challenge that's like 10, takes 10 minutes or less and you get it done and you let me know down in the comments if you accept the challenge or if you got the challenge done and I will give you guys some praise for your hard work. And of course it's always nice to have the extra motivation so just filming these videos for you gives me the motivation to get this stuff done. But we usually do t things that don't necessarily have to be done every single week. They may be done monthly or a few times a year or whatever and I do my closets like this at least once I probably should be doing it once a month, but I usually do it probably once every two months just because it's one of those things that you forget about. So when I'm cleaning my closet, I like to wipe down all the surfaces because I do have shelves and things like that in there, and then I also vacuum and mop. If you don't have um, hardwood floors in your closets, then you still need to vacuum, so it may not take you as long as it will me. But um, also, if there are things in your closet that don't need to be there, then you go put them in the place where they belong. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what my closet looks like right now and kind of explain what I'm doing today. Alright, so this is my closet and this is where we keep all of our laundry that needs to be washed and it's overflowing. It's our dirty clothes hamper. I need to wash clothes really bad, so maybe I'll add that to my list today. But these are actually clothes that I pulled out a few months ago. If you watched one of my KonMari videos, um, I tried to sell these in a yard sale and this is what was left over. So we got rid of a ton of stuff, but this is what we had left. And my plan was to take it all to the consignment shop that we usually use, but apparently they closed down. So when I went by, I had all this stuff that still needed to be gotten rid of. So then I was going to try this to sell them on the Facebook on yarn, online yard sale and that didn't work out. They've still been sitting here since then. It's such a pain. So I've gone through and decided that I'm going to just donate this whole pile right here and then this pile which on top is a bunch of scarves so let me move that. But this pile, the scarves, and all of this I'm going to actually try to sell. But I do want to go through my closet again just to see if there's anything else. I know I've got to have some more stuff in here that I have not worn in forever. So these are all of my clothes. So I'm going to do that today and pull out some things that I'm still not wearing that I can get rid of so I can get a few new pieces. So since I am not going to be using the Facebook group, I was actually going to, but they've been sitting there since March, so you see I haven't really gotten around to it. I used to use Facebook all the time for like my kids' clothes and things like that, and I used my stuff I used to just drop off at the consignment shop just because it was easy and um, didn't really take any time. But the thing I don't like about Facebook is it's so hard to like coordinate with people about where to meet up and then you never know if people are seriously going to buy your stuff and it's just kind of a pain so Poshmark actually reached out to me recently and asked if I wanted to try selling on their app and I've seen lots of my friends selling on Facebook and also a lot of YouTubers are using the Poshmark, Poshmark app as well and I'd actually never heard of it until a few months ago. So if you've never heard of Poshmark, it's an app where you can buy and sell gently used clothes or you can sell your new clothes if they still have tags on them or whatever. It's just a, like a resale site and you don't have to worry about meeting up with anyone. You just put your clothes on there, you take pictures of it, put your clothes on there and you can sell straight from there. You can also buy, which I really like that you can actually follow people and their closets so if you see like a friend who has similar style and size or a YouTuber that you like that's selling their clothes on Poshmark then you can actually follow their their closet is what they call it and you can purchase straight from them. Another thing you can do is follow certain brands so if you say like I love Old Navy, I love Gap, 
Um, I shop there all the time. Target brands, any of those kind of things. And you can just put in whatever brand you want to follow and you can see that whenever it pops up. And like I said, I've never used this app before, but I'm excited to try it out and I will let you guys know what I think of it in the future after maybe a few weeks of trying it. I'll let you guys know exactly what I think of the app and how user friendly it is and all of that. But I'm gonna leave a link to the app down in my description box in case you guys wanna check it out. And if you use my link, I would, I would really appreciate it because it just tells Poshmark that I sent you to them. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys what I need to clean really quick because I've had comments in the past where people have said it looks like I have staged things that need to be clean and I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I don't have time for all that. If I'm filming something that's a cleaning video, then it's because it needs to be clean. I'm not cleaning just to clean. I don't love it that much. But I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about when I say, like, I need to clean my closet. I have a dog, Cooper, if you guys see my lab. He's actually sleeping. <laughs> But his hair gets everywhere, including my closet, and I really need to clean it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is disgusting, and this is real life, people. There's no way I can put dust and dog hair in here myself. Well, I guess I could come dump my vacuum, but look at all that dog hair. And I guess it just gets on my shelves from, like, my shoes but it's pretty gross. All right, so enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning. Y'all let me know down in the comments if you accept this challenge and um, when you get it done, let me know that you got it done as well. All right, let's get cleaning. All right, I'm gonna start with getting some things out of the way, like my dirty clothes for one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my donation box out as well, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and go through my closet and decide if there's anything else that I want to get rid of while I'm cleaning out my closet. There's no use in looking back. Now I'm going to go ahead and take all the shoes out and take the shoes off the shelves so that I can clean that before I vacuum the floor. All right, and then after starting, I decided I was only gonna do the actual shelves where our shoes go, and I'm gonna do the top shelves and the other shelves on another day so that I can get it all done. I only had a little bit of time today, so this actually ended up taking a little more than 10 minutes anyways. <laughs> Now I'm going to use my Dyson just to vacuum off all the shelves and then I went ahead and used the handheld to vacuum off the baseboards and all that mess that we saw already earlier and then I'm going to go back in afterwards and actually vacuum with the whole vacuum. Now I'm using the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray just to spray down and clean off all of the shelves in here and it's actually the peony scent. It smells so good and I love it. 
And if y'all didn't know, I do have a link down below to Grove Collaborative. It's where I get all of my cleaning products and I only share it with you guys because I absolutely love it. I love everything that I get from there. I use tons of Mrs. Myers products and also the Method Cleaners. But if you're interested in trying out Grove for yourself, the link below actually gets you a free gift set from Mrs. Myers if you are a new customer. And then if you're an existing customer, you can still use the link below and you can get some of the walnut scrubbers for free as well. And now I am just putting all of my shoes back on the shelves and trying to organize them pretty much the same way that I had them before, but I probably changed some stuff up. I don't know. And now I'm just going and vacuuming the rest out using my cordless Dyson. Next, I use my Bona mop and I actually put water and vinegar in it this time instead of using the Bona floor cleaner because I didn't want it to get on any of the clothes and I tried to spray only in the middle of the floor so it wasn't anywhere near the clothes when I was spraying. And now I'm just putting back the shoes that don't go on the shelves where they go. All right, now my closet is nice and clean. No more little dust bunnies. It feels so good. And it smells really good too because I use the peony scent and the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray. All right. So now I have those to donate, and then I have all of this stuff to go in my Poshmark store. So I'm gonna show you just a few of the things that I'm gonna be putting in my Poshmark store in case you guys wanna check it out. Um, I will have all of the stuff in my store by the time that this video goes live. So make sure that you are following me on my Poshmark closet. It's Team Darley, just like the YouTube channel that we have. So um, I'm gonna show you guys a few of these items and what they look like. This little dress is so cute for like church or weddings or whatever, but I got it from the Mint Julep shop. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but it's an online boutique and it's super cute. And this shirt is from a brand called Pink Rose. It needs to be um, ironed, it's kind of wrinkly, but it's just a pink and white striped shirt. And then the jeans are the brand Just Black and um, they're both really, really cute. And the, I like the back of this shirt that it has like the zip up. I thought that was so cute. I'm also gonna put in this top. It's from my Etsy shop, but I don't really wear it anymore. I wore it on one trip to Disney and it's just a glitter Disney shirt that I wore in the parks. You can knot it just like this. And then also these shorts are going in there too. They are Air Hostel brand, and I just feel like they're too short on me, so I'm, they're probably a little bit too small too, so I'm gonna put those in my, in my closet as well. And this dress will be in there. It's an H&M dress, and it's one of those baby doll style flowy dresses. It's really cute. I like the color a lot. And you could actually wear this casual or put some wedges on and dress it up a little bit. So it's very functional. The last two items I'm gonna show you are these sweaters that I got from Express and they're like oversized sweaters. They actually need to be ironed because they've been folded for a while. But this one is white and gray and then I also have one in navy and gray that are super cute. All right guys, so that is it for this cleaning challenge. I hope that you enjoyed it and it gave you some cleaning motivation. Don't forget to check out my Poshmark store and um, use the link below if you haven't downloaded the app. 
because remember that just tells Poshmark that I sent you. Also, if you have a Poshmark closet, I wanna know, leave me your closet name down in the description box or in the comments below so that I can go follow you as well. And I'm sure other people will wanna be able to follow you too or check out your stuff too, so definitely leave that down below. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.